So making money online in Nigeria really isn't a new thing anymore and one of the best ways to make money online is freelancing. And as freelancers, we know we have a lot of platforms where we can showcase our products and services that we offer and also get freelance jobs from other people. And we all know one of the best platforms that we have is Fiverr. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can be able to create your Fiverr gig from start to finish no matter which niche you're in or maybe which skill you have. And so, we're starting right now. What's up guys, welcome back. And to all the new people, welcome to the house. My name is Harry Sky, and on this channel, we talk about anything online marketing and also personal branding. And as I said in the intro, today we're gonna to be talking about how to create a Fiverr gig. And also guys, this video was kind of requested by two of my friends on this channel, Olushola Ibitoye and innocent comes so if you also have anything you might want me to make a video about you can also go ahead and leave it in the comment section i'll be there to respond to you and you can let me know how or what you want me to talk about in the video so what is a fiverr gig so just for example you go to buy a magazine or maybe a newspaper even though not much people buy newspaper anymore but just for example you go to buy a newspaper or magazine you know before you pay for the newspaper you get to look at the front page of that newspaper and see all the content that you will be able to find in that newspaper that is exactly what your gig is for your fiverr profile and also just so you guys might not know what i'm actually doing on fiverr i'm actually a professional video editor so just in case you might be needing help with any video or something like that just shoot me a dm on either of my twitter or instagram and we can work something out so i'm gonna be creating my gig around the video editing niche so if you have any other niche apart from the video editing you can just pick all the hints that i give in this video and i hope it helps you so now that we know what a gig is i'm just gonna go ahead and share my computer screen with you so i can show you how you can start creating a gig from start to finish so let's get on with the video so guys let's go ahead and head into fiverr fiverr.com So once you're here, you just click on sign in. That's if you have an account. Well, if you don't have an account, I actually have a video where I show you everything about how to create an account on Fiverr. So I'll link it right up here so you can go ahead and check it out. So you can sign in. So once you're in your dashboard here, so you just go ahead and click on gigs. So once you click on gigs, when you move to the right side here, you can see create a new gig. So you click on that. So right here on this page, it'll ask you to like give your gig a title, like, you know, just tell them what you do, what you can offer them on Fiverr. So you can see right here, start defining your gig, create a catchy title, choose a category that fits your gig, add metadata, so all these things. So let's just go ahead and start typing what we can offer here. So since I'm creating this around the video editing niche, so I'll just say I will create awesome video intros for you so my category would be well you see i think it automatically kind of suggested some of them for me because i actually put video intros here so let's see suggested category video and animation whiteboard animated well short video okay but even though we can still search under this to see if maybe this doesn't really defines what we're doing okay we can see right here intros and outros so i can just say intros and outros here so that would be video animation under video animation intros and outros so i think i'll just add i think i'll just add uh, outros here I will create awesome video intros and outros for you so let's go down so the next part would be select the type of service you provide okay since it's video intros I think I'll just say YouTube channel intros I'll just say create YouTube channel intro but also depending on whatever kind of niche you're in you know this might differ or something like that so pick something that you know is part of what you do not something that maybe kind of looks like what you do or something like that just pick what you know you do so let's say video file formats i would say um since it's video i do avi i do mp4 so if you're familiar with video formats you know what this means mp4 avi and all these other formats so let's just scroll down to the next part okay search tags so search tags are actually something that really help you with your seo that's your search engine optimization because search tags are kind of keywords that you would target that people kind of search for on fiverr maybe on google 
So if maybe you rank a kind of keyword or maybe a certain phrase, a key phrase, when someone searches on Google, they would find you in maybe the first page or maybe the second page or something like that. So I would just say video editing. Oops, sorry about that. Video editing, I'll say enter. So I'll just say video intros video outros so you can just keep on writing what you do you know like any niche you want people to search and find you around let's just say uh let me say video editing in nigeria okay i can also add something else like maybe um awesome so i think five is the maximum so Let's just go ahead and click on save and continue right here. Okay, title can contain letters and numbers. So let me just try removing this full stop and see if this works. So another problem here, tag list cannot contain tags with more than 20 characters. Okay, so I can go ahead and remove this video editing in Nigeria and just say video in Nigeria. I think that would be better so let's click on save and continue so don't forget about that it says it only takes alphabets and numbers so don't add full stop so now we're on the next page and this page is all about pricing so you can see scope and pricing you can create your different packages right here but right now this one is just for one package this is just a basic package but if you want to offer like a three package system like maybe three different packages to people maybe of three different levels of services that you want to offer to them well you can just click on these three packages and uh, well they'll show you this video if you have time maybe to watch the video maybe if you just want to understand the thing even more you can just go ahead and watch this video so i'll just click on got it so these are three different packages you can edit the name to anything you want i can just say maybe name my package this would be maybe my basic package the standard or maybe i can say the compact package and this well <laughs> the default name the premium package okay so you can describe what you offer here you can tell them what you do you can add anything here okay so this these are what you offer to people so you just let them know what you offer and uh, you know different types of things th that differ in the packages well the whole thing about this details is just for you to let them know what they can find in this package right here so just let them know like briefly what they can find in this package or in these packages so delivery time might be maybe since it's the basic package i can say i would deliver everything within a week and for the compacts because the price might be you know a bit higher so i would say i would deliver everything within four days or something like that whatever days it can take for you to kind of deliver on your service so this one i can say i can just spend two days and maybe one day but i'm just say two days so after the delivery time you come down here and let them know what they can offer like depending on the niche you select that you offer a service like fiverr can give you you know like suggested things that you might want to offer to people like what you might want to add to the packages definitely i would have overlay text on it and uh, you know for all of them i would also have to have overlay text since that's for the basic package and i already said everything in the previous package plus other stuff so add logo well this might be just for the compact and uh, premium so transparent background i would say well maybe just for yeah for both of them so custom design i would say for premium background music well i would have to add for all of them because voiceover and background music so sound effects i would say only for premium video footage well that would be for compact and premium because this would be voiceover and stuff like that i think i'll just go ahead and move to pricing well, as you can see, you can even read here, earn up to 64% more per order with triple gig packages. You see, if you offer these kind of three packages plan, like, you know, people have to pick within the basic uh, plan you offer to the premium package you offer. Because, you know, they might have different kind of services they want to get from you. So they would have to see within your packages and see which one is the one they want. So let's go ahead and add the pricing right here. So for the basic, I can say maybe everything, the videos and everything. 
I would do them, mm, let's say for $20. Well, depending on what you do, you just think about the pricing. Because, you know, sometimes pricing influences sales. You know, sometimes when the price is high, people tend to ignore that kind of uh, product or maybe service. But when the price is low, some people tend to buy or tend to use that service. But that isn't always the case. So you just go with the price that you feel is okay by you. So I'll just go ahead and click on, let's say, $20 for the voiceover and everything video right here. So for the compact video, I would say maybe I would offer around... Uh, let's say um thirty dollars you know depending on what you do so i would say for the premium since i'm giving you know a lot of stuff here i would say um i'll go even almost up to or depending on what you do you know i won't let me just not take the price that high so people won't just go you know add unbelievable prices to their clients and maybe cause you trouble in the long run okay let's say 70 dollars okay okay so down here we can see add extra services as you can see by the side here extra fast delivery set your price for faster delivery extra fast delivery time must be shorter than the than your basic delivery time okay let's say extra fast delivery these are kind of extra services that you would add if you want to add like maybe if they want an extra service you know for the basic we said seven days so if you want you can just say maybe if they want the basic plan within five days they can pay so 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 amount since our basic plan is twenty dollars you can say if they pay $25 they might get the service you know instead of seven days they might get it within five days so for the standard two you can add and everything like that so I think I just I won't add any extra fast delivery or any stuff here so I think I'll just leave all these extra services and just go to save and continue so the next one is the description so as you can see by the side here write your description and frequently ask questions include the most important information for a gig Add frequently asked questions and answer to the most commonly asked questions. So what you can add, you can you can you know write as much as you want here. So that's up to you. Anyway, so I think this might be okay. So I create intro and outro videos for YouTubers that might not be able to do so for themselves. Let me know how you want your videos to be. Send me a DM on my social media accounts, on my other social media accounts, so we can talk more about your project. So I'll just go down here to frequently ask questions. So you can add the questions that maybe people, a lot of people ask you. So you just go ahead and add all the questions here and the answers. Maybe people ask, um, how long are your videos? So I'll just go ahead and add to the answer right here. My videos sometimes are up to three to five minutes long so you can add this you see how long are your videos my videos are so 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 i can add another question so you can add as much frequently asked questions that you get from people and the answers so next just click on save and continue so now on to the next one next one is requirements so for requirements this is actually what you might require from a client to send to you before you start the work for them so you can add a question right here request necessary details such as dimensions brand guidelines and more so when you scroll down here you can see get it in a form of free text multiple choice attachment so you know for a video editing i would say i need them as attachments because they might want to send me videos for me to edit for them. So I would just say, I would require you to send me all the necessary attachments via Google. Oops, sorry about that. She said Google. Google Drive. So you know you can share the link with them and anything you have here. So I'll just go ahead and click on add, save and continue. On to the next one. And the next one is the gallery. Build a gig gallery. Add memorable content to your gallery to set yourself apart from your competitors. So, you know, to comply with Fiverr terms and services, make sure to upload only content you either own or you have permission or license to use. So, make sure you take note of that. Don't go and upload any video, you know, someone's video that you're not allowed or maybe you don't have full access or permission to 
upload i'm just look for maybe a video that i created like some time ago and see if i can just upload anything let's just browse a picture and see if i can find anything that i can upload here let's just go with this you know but find something relevant to what you're trying to offer i'm just uploading these because i don't have anything ready so so you can have all the things you want to share ready before you start creating a gig you know like you can upload a pdf too if maybe you're a writer or something like that you know you just know what you need to do so i'll just click on save and continue almost there okay complete the following requirements to start selling so let's just see what what they're trying to ask us Let's check if you need to fill out the Form W-9, okay? Form W-9 is used in the U.S. for tax purposes. You are required to fill out only if you are defined as a U.S. person by the U.S. tax authorities. Answering no completes the check. Okay, what is a U.S. person as defined by the U.S. tax authorities? You can check and see, but, you know anyone knows what what a united states person means so you know i confirm that all the services i offer on fiverr are performed by are, are performed while outside of the u.s well this is true for me and maybe you too you know we're from nigeria so we just click on no anyone from the united states will click on yes so let's click on save you're done no need to fill out the form you can update your information from your profile settings at any time let's click on ok and uh, let's go ahead and click on publish gig so you did it a gig is now live let's get the word out to boost your sales so you can copy this link right here and uh, so once you copy it you can also share it on Facebook Twitter LinkedIn or any other place that you want to share with your audience and also Fiverr has like a learning section if you want to invest in Fiverr you can just go ahead and take your gig to the next level as they said here so you can go ahead and check all the courses they have buy any course you want and uh, you know Go ahead and start selling and start uh, advertising to other people, you know, uh, sharpen your skills here, you know, SEO websites, shapes, beautiful, anything you want to learn more about, you just click there. So I just click on done. So once I'm done, you would see the Fiverr gig showing in your profile right here. And again, if you want to create another Fiverr gig, you just click on this create new gig and you go through the same process that we just went through. So no matter how many Fiverr gigs you want to create, you just keep on creating them and they'll keep on appearing under this Fiverr gig right here. So guys, there you have it. And now, question of the day. So let me know in the comment section what niche you're in and also what kind of service you render on Fiverr. And also, if you have any question you might want to ask me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and I'll be there to respond to each and every one of your comments. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video and also found it very helpful, go ahead and smash the like button right there and also click on the subscribe button if you haven't yet so you can join the family. And also guys, go ahead and check all the other awesome videos on this channel. I hope you find something that might help you in what you're trying to do. And as always guys, Go ahead and create, but don't hate. See you in the next one. Peace.